Hi, Russell Mark here again. Now, a question we're often asked here at Go Shooting is what width does the shotgun actually spread its pellets at at the distance we're shooting clays at? Well, the answer to that lies in what's called a choke. Now, the choke is the distance or the width of constriction at the end of the barrel. Today, I'm gonna to give you a quick lesson on what each different choke does. The Beretta Silver Pigeon is one of our most common guns here at Go Shooting. Now, it has the luxury of five of these interchangeable chokes. With the help of the pattern board behind me, I'm going to show you how each of them differ. Now, cylinders are very open choke, and to prove that, we just put our choke gauge in the front. That would be full choke, that would be three-quarter choke, that would be half choke, that would be quarter, and it's cylinder. So that proved to me this choke is actually what it says it is. Just insert it, finger tighten it a little bit, put a bit of lube on it. Everything works better with a bit of lube on it. Then use the tool just to tighten it up. Don't over tighten it, just to what we call is finger tight. Good to go. Now for the purposes of today's demonstration, I'll use our pattern board using that as the aiming point. I'll shoot three shots from 20 meters just to show you what the width difference is between each of these five chokes. Okay, three shots with our cylinder choke. Okay, let's see our results. And as you would expect, it's quite wide. Cylinder is the widest spreading choke of the five that we're going to test today. It's got a spread at 20 meters of about a meter wide. And um, that is ideal. At this distance, it's probably the only choke you'd want to use. Hate repainting the pattern board. It's the worst thing. Lauren, Lauren, where are you? Ah, uh, finding good help these days, <laughs> seriously. Time to try our quarter choke, or commonly called improved cylinder. Again at 20 metres, and this will throw the pattern just slightly tighter. We'll just check this to make sure that it actually is a quarter choke. So again, that's full, three quarter, half, spot on a quarter. Okay, again, we'll sample three shots. Okay, as you can see, our improved cylinder choke or quarter choke is a little bit tighter. It's gone from a one meter pattern with cylinder to a pattern of about 80 centimeters in diameter with this choke. This is now our half choke. Again, full, three quarter, spot on half. Okay, a modified or half choke at 20 meters. We're down now to a pattern width of probably just on 60 centimeters. Three quarter choke, that's full, three quarter. Three quarter choke is also commonly called improved modified choke. You can see now our pattern diameter is just under now 50 centimeters. Let's try our full choke. Just to check it to make sure that's exactly what it is. Spot on full. And finally, the results of our full choke at 20 meters, it's spreading the pattern pretty much on 40 centimeters wide. Okay, so there you have the results. Five different chokes produce five different width patterns. But what's that all mean? Well, I guess if you know the distance you're shooting your targets at, you have a massive advantage that you can change choke for the ideal distance. We've seen at 20 meters, a cylinder choke will produce an average shot width pattern of about one meter. The full choke at the same distance is only 40 centimeters. So you'll have a huge margin for error with the cylinder choke as opposed to the full choke. You'll still break the target with the full choke, but you'll have to shoot much more accurately. Now, I like to use a guide that cylinder choke's good at around 20 meters, quarter choke 25 meters, half choke 30 meters, three quarter choke 35 meters, and beyond 35 meters, I'm a big advocate for full choke. That's just a rough guide, but it's good to get you started. I hope today's little video was informative for you and you get to understand 
the different variety of chokes that we use in clay target shooting. We look very much forward to seeing your one of our go shooting ranges really soon.